This is Embracing Digital This Week with Darren Pulsifer. This week's top stories in artificial intelligence news. Intel's latest announcement marks a pivotal moment in the birth of AI-powered PCs. The Core Ultra H and U series processors launch introduces the revolutionary Meteor Lake architecture, embedding advanced AI capabilities into ultra-thin notebooks. This release enhances performance and raises the Arc graphics platform, elevating the user experience to new heights. Intel's commitment to innovation signals a transformative era in the laptop market, where AI becomes integral to everyday computing. New York City Councilwoman-elect Susan Zhuang has admitted to quietly employing AI to communicate with the public and respond to media inquiries, finally a politician speaking the truth. Zhuang's use of AI marks a unique approach to engaging with constituents, and the implications of this tech-driven strategy may reshape the landscape of political communication in the digital age. Intel's creation of the personalized AI PC has brought a potential massive labor disruption to businesses as they continue integrating artificial intelligence, AI, into their operations. As AI technologies are adopted, job functions and workdays are expected to change, raising concerns about potential workforce challenges. Companies are preparing for this transformative shift and recognizing the need for proactive strategies to navigate potential disruptions and ensure a smooth transition to an AI-driven future. In data management news, Snowflake, a leading cloud data platform, has achieved FedRAMP high authorization on AWS, GovCloud, US West, and US East. This significant milestone highlights Snowflake's commitment to meeting stringent government security standards, enabling federal agencies to leverage its advanced data management capabilities in a secure cloud environment. The FedRAMP high authorization underscores Snowflake's position as a trusted partner in providing fast and scalable solutions for government entities fostering innovation and efficiency in data management. Solix has introduced the Common Data Platform, CDP 3.0, which includes advanced multi-cloud data management and enterprise AI capabilities. This release reflects Solix's commitment to providing state-of-the-art solutions for managing and deriving insights from large datasets. The CDP 3.0's improved machine learning and AI features enable organizations to make more informed, data-driven decisions. The trend of multi-cloud data management is driving the development of many new commercial offerings, and Solix's latest release is poised to be a significant contributor in this space. In a recent report, Datanami explores crucial considerations for ensuring your data management strategy is ready for AI with five key indicators, prioritize data quality, scalability, integration capabilities, robust security, and flexibility. These elements are crucial for optimizing systems as artificial intelligence continues to shape data processes. Stay ahead in the AI era by evaluating and enhancing these aspects to meet the demands of evolving technologies. Read more at datanami.com for comprehensive insights. In cybersecurity news, Britain's National Grid has reportedly severed ties with a China-based supplier due to cybersecurity concerns, as Reuters reported on December 17, 2023. The decision reflects heightened global scrutiny over potential risks associated with foreign technology partnerships, particularly in critical infrastructure sectors. This move by the National Grid underscores the increasing emphasis on bolstering cybersecurity measures to safeguard essential services against potential threats. Hackers have targeted the U.S. water supply, raising alarms about the vulnerability of critical infrastructure. Axios reported on December 16, 2023, that this breach poses significant national security and public safety concerns. The incident underscores the urgent need for robust cybersecurity measures to safeguard essential services. Authorities are investigating the breach, highlighting the ongoing challenges in defending critical infrastructure from cyber threats. The NSA has warned about Russian cyber actors exploiting a known vulnerability with global implications. The identified vulnerability has a significant impact worldwide, emphasizing the importance of mitigating cybersecurity risks. The NSA advises organizations to promptly address and patch this vulnerability to enhance their resilience against potential cyber threats. 
in embracing digital transformation news. Darren looks to open source for zero trust network architecture with OpenZD, with one of the open source community organizers, Philip Griffiths. Also, a special thanks to the Embracing Digital Transformation listeners for spreading the news. We have added over 4,000 subscribers to our YouTube channel and had over 14,000 downloads or views of our podcast last week. Thanks again for your support. That's it for Embracing Digital this week. If you've enjoyed this episode, check out our full-length weekly podcast, Embracing Digital Transformation, and check out our website, embracingdigital.org. Until next week, go out and embrace the digital revolution.